Welcome to Waiting for the One, Grace Podcast, Scriptures from New Living Translation Bible. We made it to 2022. Happy New Year to each one of all of your ourselves, families, family members, furry friends, and friends. A new year means new beginnings. 2021 was a year of learning to adapt to so many changes, yet it is a stepping stone to move forward this year in 2022. It is very sad to see so many loved ones who left their physical body and are resting in God's resting place. Although no one has made it to heaven until Jesus returns to the earth. The full explanation is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the whole chapter. Thanks be to God, we are now stronger for those who have taken the vaccines and the boosters. Thank God for his children that have the knowledge and the ability to help create those vaccines. As we see, it doesn't give us full protection, so we cannot rely on it fully. We need a savior. And the only one to take that position is Jesus Christ, God's one and only son, who is only who is the only human and spirit, pure enough and sin-free. Jesus also experienced all sicknesses and diseases before he died on the cross to save us. Jesus is the only one who holds the cure to all sicknesses and diseases and all that we experience, for he experienced it first. By now, you are aware that your belief in Jesus Christ matters, including confessing that Jesus is Lord of Lords, Lord of your life, and believing in your heart, and confessing that you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead is the only way to be saved. If you were not aware, now is the time to invite Jesus into your life. Gain a relationship through the scriptural words every day. Though it be listening to this podcast, which we provide scriptural words, or reading it yourself while gaining a relationship with Jesus. While you are gaining a relationship with Jesus and reading in his scriptural word, you will start to transform. Others will notice, you sometimes will not. And as Jesus starts working, some people, like I said, don't realize that it's happening. And at times, You receive the healing that you need in those moments as well of your scriptural reading. Jesus will then provide a peace like this world cannot give. Our God is a loving God, and all these sicknesses are not from him. The evil one, his offspring, and his armies are the one bringing all this destruction. The evil one gains every time we sin. It gives him power. Yet God and Jesus are at war with the evil one and his offspring and armies. It's not our battle, but we do have a responsibility, and that is to claim our belief in Jesus Christ. Every knee will bow to Jesus, and we have only one God, which we mentioned both points in the scriptures last year. Your belief 
in Jesus and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead, will you will be saved, which means you are on Jesus' side. Everyone is responsible to make a choice. We have a fair God that gives us freedom of choice. You can choose to believe in Christ and confess with your mouth he is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. If you choose to believe, like I said, in Jesus and confess with your mouth that he was raised from the dead by God, then you will receive Jesus' righteousness, which means it covers all your sins being washed by his blood, making you look perfect in God's eyes because God sees Jesus' blood, which is covered with yours, over your sins. Jesus' righteousness makes you look perfect. Our righteousness, which means we're self-righteous, will never ever make us right with God. That is why Jesus had to die on the cross. Yet, if you choose not to believe, you're not on Jesus' side, and you will not be saved. And that means you know what side you have chosen and taken. This battle is between God and Jesus. But like I said, your responsibility is to claim and make a choice on what side you're on. It doesn't matter your age, religion, your culture. Everyone is responsible. What matters is, is you make a decision before Jesus returns. And we don't even know when that is. He doesn't even know either. It's better to have made this decision before he arrives. You don't want to be caught in the wrong side when Jesus returns. It has never been about us. It's, uh, and it's not about religion and how good we are. It's what Jesus, God's one and only son, did for us by dying on the cross. Jesus came from heaven and became human flesh, and he died a criminal's death to save all God's people. The Ten Commandments were made to show us how sinful we are so that we would realize that we needed a Savior. But yet, people continued to follow the Ten Commandments to the T, which then created more sin because if you sinned in one, you sinned in them all. So, come as you are, sinners, sick, atheist, different religion, make your decision today. Gain your relationship with Jesus. The truth is out. Could it be the vaccines were giving us a little bit more time that God was giving us grace for us people to make a decision? so that he could save more people. Some important scriptures to look at would be 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Romans 10, 9 to 13. And remember as well, why would I lie when I, and what would I gain from that? 
because all it would do would hurt me and lose my eternity.